Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for today's session is line spacing and indentation. Starting with the introduction, indentation and line spacing are two important features you can use to change the way text appears on the slide. Indentation can be used to visually set paragraphs apart from one another or to create multi-level list. Wherever the line spacing that can be adjusted to improve the readability or to fit more number of lines on the slide. In this session we learn how to intend the te text and modify the line spacing. Now moving forward with the course goal, in this session we learn how to intend the text using the tab key. How do we use the indent command? Fine tuning the indents, show the ruler, customizing the bullet spacing, change the bullet spacing, and how to modify or format the line spacing. So let's discuss about all these operations one after the other. The first thing we'll discuss about is indent the text using tab key. We have a paragraph written here. Now suppose if I want to intend the text, I need to select this paragraph and then click on and then press the tab key. You can keep pressing the tab key and then you will find that it's getting intended. So in this way we can intend the paragraph. Then next we will discuss about use the intent command. If you want to intend all the lines in a paragraph, you can use the intent command which is there on the home tab. I will show you where is the command available and how we can use it. You need to click on home first of all. In the home tab under the paragraph group, you have the option available increase list level and decrease list level. This is the intent command. Select the paragraph first of all. We have selected the paragraph and now select the intent option. You can click on this option and and you will observe that the paragraph that is getting intended. One more thing I want to tell you about the indentation and that is like you can do the indentation on the bulleted points as well. We have seen that how we can perform this action on the paragraph. Now suppose we have the option available, the bulleted lines available we can create the multi-level list also or we can say we can create the hierarchy as well you need to select first of all the lines these two points we have selected now we can intend these points and in this way we can create a hierarchy the similar way tab works you have selected these two points and once you are going to press the tab key you can find that the text is getting indented. So in this way you can perform this intent task on the bulleted numbers on the bulleted text as well. And then you can create the multi-level hierarchy. Sometimes you may want to fine tune the intents and the tabs in your presentation. And you can do this by in, by adjusting the intent marker and tab stops on, on the ruler. Sometimes you may want to fine tune the intents and tabs in the presentation. You can do this by adjusting the intent marker that is the ruler. By default the ruler is hidden. So you need to find out first of all that how we can show the ruler. I'll show you the option available. You need to click on view tab. 
and now you have the option ruler available place a check mark you can see here in this area there is no ruler available right now once you place a check mark you'll get the ruler available here and the vertical and the horizontal so this is the way the ruler appears and we can fine tune the text this cursor or this tab this is known as the first line intent marker this first line intent marker you can click on this and you can move it here and there I'll show you that how we can fine tune the intents. We have the first line intent marker, which is this one. This is the first line intent marker. You can click on this and you can move the bullets around. We have on the extreme corner right now, so we are not able to move it in the other direction. Okay, let's select this first of all and move it in this direction. We have selected the text. Now move the text to the right. Okay. So in this way we can try to fine tune the uh, text. You can see here that the first line intent marker, this is the first line intent marker and this is the hanging intent marker you can make the arrangement where do you want to show the text where do you want to show the markers or the bullets so with the help of these two intents you can adjust your text on the slide okay we have discussed about fine tuning the intents and show the ruler option as well. Now the next option we are going to discuss is customizing the bullet spacing. When you are working with the list powerpoint allow you to adjust the space between the bullets and the text by using the first line intent marker and hanging intent marker which we have discussed just now. The ability to increase or decrease the indentation allow you to customize the list to meet your needs and change the bullet spacing. This is the option available and if we are talking about customizing the bullet spacing then it means we are dis and now the way to customize the bullet spacing is change the bullet spacing or the line spacing. I'll show you how do we do it. Do it. The first thing we are going to discuss about change the bullet spacing. Then we discuss about change the bullet spacing. You have two options available. One is the first line intent marker. We have two markers available here the first line intent marker and the hanging intent marker so with the help of these two we can change the bullet spacing either you can change the first line intent marker or the alternative would be you can uh, keep the first line intent marker on the same place however you can move the hanging intent marker to move your text select the entire text first of all and then with the help of the marker you can change the position of your text so this is how we can change the bullet spacing then moving forward then moving forward we'll discuss about the line spacing well powerpoint allow you to adjust the amount of space between each line in the paragraph you can reduce the line spacing to fit more lines on the slide or you can increase it to improve the readability. PowerPoint may automatically change the font size when you 
adjust the line spacing so increasing the line spacing too much may cause the text to be very small in the home tab we have the option available for increasing or decreasing the line spacing select the text first of all then you have the option available here currently the line spacing is 1.0 suppose you want to make it to 1.5 you can move around your mouse on the drop down and you can see that the how the text look like if we are going to increase the line spacing so in this way you can adjust the line spacing for your text then next we'll discuss about format the line spacing so in this way we have discussed about the line spacing and we have discussed how we can change or how we can format the line spacing with the help of the option available here you can click on the drop down and you can select these otherwise line spacing option click on this you can adjust the settings here before and after how many lines spacing you want to give single 1.5 double exactly multiple how much and spacing means before the line how much uh, space you want to leave and after that how much space you want to leave so these are certain settings these are some option available you can make these changes uh, required on the text or on the format and accordingly you can save your text on these slides so that was it for today's session we have discussed about the line and indentation i hope that have cleared all your doubts regarding the paragraphs and intending your task thanks everyone thank you for watching edupedia world videos